Hello, welcome. I am Catfish Franklin and this this here is Catfish Corner. And today's story is called The Cuckoo. But before I get into that, I would just like to thank you for stopping by. And I would also like to thank my patrons on Patreon and my people that give at Give Butter. Uh, links in the description below, of course. But thank you to those people. Uh, it really eases things up around here at Catfish Headquarters. So, uh, today's story, The Cuckoo. Uh, well, my lead into this is that, uh, three, it's probably a couple of months or three months ago by now, there was, I found out there was a, uh, Ramblin' Jack Elliott tribute concert, uh, maybe in San Francisco or something like that, and all the, all the people were there, including Jack himself, who's like 92 or something like that, but, you know, Joan Baez, Steve Earle, they were there and everything, so that's really cool to see him getting his due, because he's kind of like a cult character of sorts. The general public doesn't seem to know about him, but he is definitely known by a cult audience, and he seems to have influenced many, many musicians. I mean, he majorly influenced Bob Dylan, so you know he influenced other people. And he was super bros with Woody Guthrie also. And, uh, and when he was a kid, he ran away and learned to play guitar from a rodeo clown. That's amazing. And he's kind of like my hero. And he's just been doing this this whole time. Mostly in America, but he went over to Europe, traveled around on a Vespa or something, with Daryl Adams, my one of my, uh, well, probably my favorite banjo player. But I even had tickets to see Ramblin' Jack, as you can see, in St. Louis in... Let's see, can you see that? St. Louis in uh, 2021, but the show got canceled because of COVID. And I was super bummed. You can see they didn't even go through the trouble to spell his name right. The guy's a legend. It's the Sheldon Concert Hall, one of the premier listening rooms. Couldn't even spell his name right. Duh. Anyway, I wanted to do something for him. And I don't really have any Ramblin' Jack material in the Torpedo Tube. So I do have the Cuckoo, though, which I basically learned kind of from him on his record. And even though I think it's kind of a banjo song, and this song comes from Europe, I believe, but this is how it got processed through the uh, Appalachian Mountains. And I guess this is kind of a combination of Ramblin' Jack's version and Clarence Ashley, maybe. But uh, I pretty much picked this up from the Ballad of Ramblin' Jack, the credits song, that version, uh, I believe it was, that I kind of learned this. So, uh, enough yapping. This, uh, this right here, why it's for Ramblin' Jack Elliott. <laughs> bird and she warbles when she flies but the cuckoo she never warbles till the fifth day of july jack of diamonds jack of diamonds how i know you oh, you have robbed my poor pockets of their silver and their gold. Hiya ha, hiya ha, hoo 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 hoo. Hiya ha, hiya ha, hoo 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 hoo. I'm gonna build me a log cabin on a mountain. So high, so's I can see Willie as she goes passing by.
I have gambled in England and I've gambled in Spain. I'll bet you ten dollars that I'll win your next game. My horses ain't hungry and they won't eat your hay. So I'm old, keep on moving and I'll feed them on my way. Oh, the cuckoo, she is a pretty bird, and she warbles when she flies. But the cuckoo, she never warbles till the fifth day of July. That, my friends, is the story of the cuckoo. Sometimes warbling, sometimes not warbling. <laughs> well, I think that's a pretty good song, and uh, well, I hope I did it justice. You should check out Ramblin' Jack's version. It is awesome. So, uh, well, anyway, I guess that's it for story time, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, and if you feel, if you like this sort of thing, feel free to hit those YouTube buttons. Uh, Give me an old thumbs one way or the other. Or uh, you can check out my links to Patreon or GiveButter. And I also have my website, catfishfranklin.com, which doesn't really have any of its own content. It just kind of has links to everything that I have going on. I try to put everything down in the links of these videos too, but, you know, if you ever forget what's going on, catfishfranklin.com. <laughs> well, anyway... That's it, folks. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and be good to each other out there. And Well, I'll see you next time.